mini game time. <laughs> this is Angel Princess Dream for Two. And I'm still continuing mini games. Just playing one of each. Start. Including the ones I've played that I've already played for my first board map. Oh yeah, this one I said reminds me of Stamp It. Or Stamp no, it's called Stamp Out in R44, four, four player. You're just pretty much stamping your color on a paper, try to get the most. <laughs> I'm sorry in the first bit, I did not say what the first, what the mini games that remind me of, I didn't explain those. So I'll try to say the resemblance between the minigame I'm saying and this one. <laughs> if that made sense. I'll just tell you why a certain minigame reminds me. And what their resemblance is. <laughs> okay, stay in the rough as long as you can. Avoid bomb homes or run into them before they explode to kick... Wait. Avoid bomb homes or run into them before they explode to kick them away from you. What does it mean by run into them before they explode to kick them away? What does it mean to kick them away from you? So you can jump, okay. Oh, Poison Swamp. That's remind me of New Super Mario Bros. One of the stages has like a Poison Swamp water. And this raft- Oh, I see what it means. So you could like bump into them. <laughs> the raft is reminding me of- I can't say wrestling rapids from Mark Pretty Six Battle. I mean, you're on a raft. You're both on a raft. <laughs> uh, but the bomb explosions is making me think of uh, lava. Lava out from Mark Pretty Eight. You're just like running around like crazy, trying to stay alive. Lava Plume, I think that's what it's called? No, I can't remember the minigame in Mario Party 8. I'm sorry. I just cannot. Uh. <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. Oh, you can jump? screen then quickly look in a different direction. <laughs> oh my god, it's look away from Mario Party 2! <laughs> it practically is, because you're not in look away you're not supposed to look in the direction of the solo player. Same rules here, don't look in the direction the arrows tell you. Swing the room up and down. Oh okay, swing it. Can we look forward? Okay, so we can't look straight, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, you can't look straight, otherwise it would be so cheating. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It really is look away. Oops. Okay, so you can't change. <laughs> remote <laughs> mobility <laughs> I'm like so focused oh uh, what Beats making me think of control stick though from our pretty six battle. Eh. <laughs> Cause it goes 
so fast, you hardly have time to react. It, oh, I messed up. Wait. I did not mess up. <laughs> I was gonna swing up, but then Peach turned left. <laughs> See, I saved you. Hmm. You are right, Peach. <laughs> Snow go. Be the first player to complete five laps. Use the dash ram to avoid losing speed in the deep snow. Steer two to accelerate and one to reverse. Wait, why would you want to reverse? A snowmobile? Oh, snap! by the snow. So you have to take that speed around. This is reminding me of Cartwheel from Mario Party 7 4 player and later Skater from Mario Party 5 4 player. Cause Cartwheel the controls are the same. Going moving with the moving with the D-pad and it turns that sharpest of cartwheel. And later skater from Mario Party 5 because it's a circle. The path is a circle and it's a snowy Area. But yeah. <laughs> Piranha patch. Grab as many flowers as you can. Pink flowers are worth one point, gold flowers are three. Carefully use a point for each piranha plant you pick by mistake. Okay, so you just touch the flower. Huh. Start. Oh, I see. Oh, piranha plant. From Mario Five, you're collecting flowers. Oh snap! The flowers are pink too. Ah. Eep. <laughs> and what other mini game? Flower shower. You're picking up flowers as well. Oh, storm chasers from Mario Party Three Battle. You're like running around crazy. Although in Storm Chasers, you're running around to water a plant you're holding, not collecting. But, you know, running around, that's the resemblance. <laughs> Plunderground. Watch the jewels fall into the chest and then track them out to most as they- <gasps> The previous reminded me of- <sighs> What is it called? Shell- Shell Shock? No. I think it was Shell Tower? I don't know, it's a one player mini game in Mar Party where there's four Koopa shells and you have to watch for the one that has the treasure chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of like this one, exactly like this one, but with Koopas in the first Mario Party. <laughs> Anyways, try to pick a chest with jewels and then play with the most jewels after three rounds win. <laughs> okay. Start! Uh, okay. So did they each have 10? Well, then again, it's, yeah, <laughs> more rounds. Oh, I see. Uh, mine. <laughs> now those look like star bits. Even though they're, they say jewels. Sheltar. I'm not 100% sure. Whatever. <laughs> uh, peer pressure. <laughs> I love that pun! <laughs> Pick the fishing rod with the cheap cheap on the hook. If you choose one with the urchin on it, you're out. <gasps> Those fishing rods! Uh, what is it? <sighs> it's a combination of 
cheap, cheap chants from our pretty Diaz and read them. No, I don't know. It was a Mario Party 5 4 player where there's also fishing poles right here. You just grab the one that's shaking and you get a point. That's Mario Party 5. Mario Party, you just pick a ro ro uh, rod and hope it's a cheap cheap. <laughs> Well, the rules play like the Mario Party DS one, cheap chance. Hope you get a cheap cheap. <laughs> That's a really nice looking beach, actually. Wow, this is so cheap cheap chance for Mario Party DS. Just pick a rod and hope it's a cheap cheap. <laughs> And as you pick a rod, um, the rods disappear. Yay! <laughs> Koopa's in the water? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Reminded me of Mario Party 4 Battle Minigame Rumble. Uh, Rumble Fishing. Yeah, Rumble Fishing. Because, you know, that one's on a Pier 2 and you're fishing for cheap cheeps. <laughs> wow. But the fact that there's 10 fishing rods, it's like it's like the 10 ropes in Mario Party 8. Um, cut from the team. That is, that's what it was. Battle mini game. Right there, I cut from the team. It's just 10 ropes and hope you don't fly off when you cut a rope. Finish. Cool. So many water party references, I cannot resist. <laughs> Ballistics. Oh, this one we already played. The one I said it's the. Let's see. The setting reminds me of Take Me Oom. It's like you're on a tall tower somewhere in the sky. From our pretty 7 4 player. And then the bullet bills coming out of nowhere. It's like Cog Jog. From our pretty 3 1 vs. 3. Right there in Cog Jog, the bullet bills are coming out of nowhere and you want to you want to avoid getting hit. <laughs> And the way how all of these bullet bills are coming, it's like shock absorbers from our Cry 5 tool. Right there you're avoiding amps, you're running around to avoid amps. Right here you're running around to avoid bullet pills. <laughs> and it gets harder the longer you go. Both of them. Pizza me Mario? <laughs> that sounds funny. Pit or Platter? I would like Pit because he's the awesome angel. <laughs> Uh, anyways, <laughs> tilt the platter to roll your ball into the glowing areas. Earn more points by scoring repeatedly without dropping the ball. Oh, I see. Oh, the way it's tilting like that's like tipsy turning from our party and our party too. Four player. Hold the remote sideways. Okay. Tipsy turning, you're all. S well, instead of moving the Wii remote, your character kind of like moves the stage around. Wow, this one's like, don't be <laughs> moving the Wii remote too much. Yeah. Oh yeah, and in Tipsy Tourney, it's like, instead of a ping pong ball, it's a Koopa shell. <laughs> Though in Tipsy Tourney, you're turning the Koopa shell to complete a picture, not to get points. But yeah, anyways, Thwomper Room. Boy, the Thwomps to be the last player standing. Okay, and I guess from my board map play, touching the Thwomps make you lose too. This one... What 
Finnegan does this remind me of? Hey, don't get me stuck, you two. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yep. Running into it makes you lose two. Yep. Running into it makes you lose. This one, it reminds me of Wampathon from our pretty DS. Four player. Mmm. Reason why? Oh, you're avoiding the wamps trying to squish you. Right here, it's thwomps. So kind of the same thing. Instead of thwomps, it's wamps. Don't want to get squished. So yeah. Choose the image with the pattern that matches the one in the spinning urn. The faster you choose the correct image, the more points you receive. Oh! It's like Archaeologist from our pretty four-story minigame. Like, well, I mean, the urn turning kind of reminds me of that. And Archaeologist... There are objects turning too, and you want to pick the right object. Start. Uh. <laughs> oh, so whoever picks the urn first gets more points then. Okay. So I'll get more? Yeah. Okay. I see flowers. Oh no, they're all flowers. What am I thinking? <laughs> I messed up bad there. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I see flowers. And the first choice I saw was flowers. And then I noticed they're all flowers. Body. Oh, this one! I'll get a perfect tier again, too. <laughs> like I said, this one reminds me of Roll Call from Our Pretty 2. Four player. Start. You're counting how many Goombas there are here. I lost count! Okay. Oh, I don't think I got a perfect this time. But wow, it, it could go for anyone. Looks like 39. Yeah. <laughs> In Roll Call of Marpre 2, you're also counting how many. Uh, either Toad, Boo, or Bonhoms there are. Magma Mayhem. Uh, I don't want to play this, but I said I'd play all the mini games, so whatever. This one is a lot like Glacial Meltdown from our pretty battle. It's the same exact rules. You're trying to push everyone off the rail. It's just that instead of lava, it's ice in Mario Party 8. Same exact controls, too. Punch or push. Whoa! You could kick and jump in both. The stage tilts. Yeah, they're they're just too similar. The only difference is this is lava. More pretty it's ice, and more pretty has a gimmick with that lakey toe that could throw buzzy beetles at you. Toss your toppings onto a rotating pizza. Be the first to get your toppings on every slice to win. Oh, snap! Let me be pepperoni, because pepperoni's awesome. <laughs> well, I like pepperoni the most. Aww. Oh, I see. So you swing one slice before. Aww. Yeah, you swing one slice before the one you want to throw it on. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I'll get this last- Ooh, Funky- Funky Frenzy! My first Mario Party 9 minigame! <laughs> the one that reminds me of Memory Match. From the first Mario Party 1 player minigame. Start! 
Reason why memory match? Because they're both in the forest. They both have nine switches. You want to ground pound the switches. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Oh, this isn't a forest, but you know, it's grassy. Just like in memory match. Oh, I got squished! Waiting for that last one. The only thing is in Mark Party Memory Match, there's a Bowser panel. You want to avoid that panel. Right here, there are no Bowser panels. It's just get every switch. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> All right. Next time we'll go to Bowser Jr. 1 vs. Rivals, or 1 vs. 3 it should be. <laughs> this is Angel Princess 3142. See you next vid.